the satisfying splatter of paintball, next! CapeCast! Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for April 7th. Get up close and personal with pelting paintballs in the second half of the show. But first, let's take a look at news. In the Wild Blue Yonder Department, the National Guard 102nd Fighter Wing officially launched its new mission yesterday in a redesignation ceremony at the Otis Air Base. The unit, now known as the 102nd National Guard Intelligence Wing, will conduct ground intelligence operations from the base. Here are some swinging sounds from the ceremony. In the two-for-one department, the town of Harwich is considering creating a regional school district with Chatham. Combining school districts could help leverage state aid. Would they call it Chatwich? Charwich? In the Pass the Muck department, the town of Sandwich will receive 150,000 to 200,000 cubic yards of dredged sands from the Army Corps of Engineers to dump on Town Neck Beach to help restore rapidly eroding dunes. The town will have to get the proper permits in place so it can accept the sand. Hey folks, did you ever wonder what the world of paintball was all about? Check out this action from Balls to the Wall, an indoor paintball facility in Hyannis. Videographer Jason Colnos visited the facility last year and brought back this hard charging report. It's three, two, one, three, go! Go, 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 go! I basically think that it's uh, basically a big game of tag, but with paintballs and guns, basically. That's the way you really see it. If you get hit, you basically, yeah, it's just like tag. It's mostly about the adrenaline that you get when you're playing. You start sweating, you can feel like the paintballs coming at you, and you get your adrenaline going. And you just don't know what to think. You just have to pop out and everything. And I just like hearing that sound of like 30 balls per second flying right by you. Well, we have a five-on-five five speedball side right now. Um, it's very popular with the tournament-style players. And then we have the tactical scenario side, which is a military simulator. It's like a, playing in a video game. There's six office rooms, and then there's the whole you know, open space with the military set up. A lot of teams come into practice. A good core group of people that are here every single weekend. Um, we've got a large volume of people just coming into the store to buy stuff for playing outside in the woods. Uh, what I like about the sport is just, you know, an all-around great game, you know, it's real competitive, a lot of fun, you know, running, where else can you go where you get to shoot people. Now let's check the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast, backed by a tremulous daffodil. For tonight, partly cloudy with a low around 33. For Tuesday, sunny with a high near 48 for opening day at Fenway Park. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been Cape Cast for April 7th. Till next time. See ya! Cape Cast!